At its peak, the British Empire controlled nearly a quarter of the world's land mass and ruled over 458 million people. The phrase, the sun never sets on the British Empire, wasn't just a catchy slogan, it was a geographical reality. But how did this mighty empire rise to such heights and what led to its eventual downfall? Today, we will explore the fascinating story of the British Empire's decline, from global superpower to its modern legacy. By the early 1920s, the British Empire had reached its zenith. From Canada to India, Australia to Nigeria, British influence stretched across every continent. London served as the world's finite its resources and accelerated independence movements across its colonies. India, often called the jewel in the crown of empire, gained independence in 1947. The partition of India into two nations, India and Pakistan, sparked one of the largest migrations in human history and highlighted the complex legacy of British colonial rule. The wave of independence didn't stop there. Throughout the 1950s and 60s, colony after colony sought and gained independence. The Suez Crisis of 1956 particularly demonstrated Britain's diminishing global influence. When Egypt nationalized the Suez Canal, Britain's military intervention failed spectacularly, revealing that it could no longer act unilaterally on the world stage without American support. In 1960, the British Prime Minister Harold Macmillan delivered the famous Wind of Change speech in South Africa, acknowledging that African nationalism was an unstoppable force. Throughout the decade, most of Britain's African colonies gained independence, with Kenya, Nigeria and Uganda leading the way. The process wasn't always peaceful. The Mau Mau uprising in Kenya and the civil war in Nigeria showed the violence aftermath of colonial rule. The empire's dissolution continued throughout the 1960s and 70s. Britain gradually withdrew from its bases of east of Suez, abandoning its military presence in places like Singapore and the Persian Gulf. The process culminated in the 1997 handover of Hong Kong to China, marking the symbolic end of the British Empire. The empire had transformed into the Commonwealth of Nations, a voluntary association of independent states. Today, the impact of the British Empire continues to shape our world. The English language has become the global lingua franca of business and diplomacy. British legal systems and parliamentary democracy have influenced governments worldwide. Even sports like cricket and rugby owe their global popularity to British colonial expansion. However, the legacy is complex and often controversial. Debates rage about the empire's role in historical injustices, from the slave trade to the exploitation of resources. Former colonies grapple with artificial borders drawn by British administrators, while museums face calls to return artifacts taken during the colonial era. The decline of the British Empire teaches us valuable lessons about power, nationalism and the inevitability of change. What was once the largest empire in history transformed into a different kind of influence, cultural, linguistic and diplomatic rather than territorial. As we continue to debate the empire's legacy, one thing is clear, its impact on global history is inevitable. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more historical deep dives. Until next time, keep exploring history.